you get me yo what's good my name is larry l welcome back to another video thank you for joining me today i'm going to be talking about a couple of hidden features within fl studio that are going to help you write chord progressions and melodies a lot faster especially if you don't know music theory so without further ado let's just not waste any time and hop right into it so i got a blank session here i think i'm just going to like make a little beat from scratch so the first hidden feature what it does is it helps you write chord progressions just by clicking one key on your midi controller or keyboard so the way you do this is go to this little piano icon this is like the typing to keyboard option make sure that's lit up right click it and it brings you this whole list normally it's on the layout piano so when you hit the Z key it's actually a C and then X is D so if we look down here we can hit minor natural chord map so to use this I'm gonna open up the plugin called octane which is a new plugin that I just got recently shout out to octane so I'm just gonna choose any preset and it gives me that chord. It's like a dope chord progression right off the bat. Let's uh, adjust some delay, maybe adjust the feedback, maybe choose a different preset. So let's uh, go to notes, notes only. Just do like a count in, three, two, one, hit play. This one's good too, so maybe we choose like a higher note. Send that to the mixer. Maybe bring another instance of Octane down, clone it, send that to a new mixer track. And then what I'll do is copy and paste that same melody down, but I'm gonna take the chord progression away from this and leave the lead. We got some like crack a lo-fi action going on there. I EQ'd it a little bit. Let's turn this uh, glide on. Let's add a little bit more reverb size. Make it sound a lot more distant. So I don't want it to sound like too like in your face. So I'm going to split these tracks here and I think I'm going to consolidate this one to audio because that crackling is like playing throughout the whole song. So I'm just going to from song start, you can do it. There we go. All right. And then I'll just, I'll keep octane there, but I'll just mute it in the mixer. So that way we don't get that like long crackle. Make sure this is trimmed close right to the end. Perfect. We'll send this to a brand new mixer track. Now on this brass, I think I can EQ some of those highs. On. See what happens if I reverse this. All right, so reversing didn't work, but I turned it up a full octave here. Sounds better. The other way that you can get instant chords is with this plugin called Patcher. And then if you go in the presets, you go to Yoda Saw, you're gonna get this crazy looking thing. You can adjust it to whatever key you like. So they give you like a stock plugin. If you look into the guts of this preset, which is what it is, basically it's a preset that the people at Wise Labs that work with FL Studio and ImageLine, they created a preset based off of like some stock plugins. What's really cool is if you go into map, you can see that they're using Harmless. They're using Harmless to create the actual synth. So what you could do, you can right click in an empty space and you can hit add plugin and you can just choose any plugin you'd like, right? Over here on the left are your synth plugins. So you can choose, let's say we choose Octane 
and you bring octane in over here but you're gonna have to connect all of these wires so that way it, it bypasses it if you don't want to do that there's a slight way around it which you can burn the midi so you can put that midi on any plugin you'd like so let's just open up like a new instance of patcher again to get like the uh, the actual preset and let's say we want to create a chord progression in maybe you know d sharp so if we go to a new new thing here you can see it's not like the other layout where we did it in the typing to keyboard. This is a slightly less efficient way of doing the automatic chords within FL Studio, but just to show you another way of doing it, it's going to give you the single notes. So you can see this way is a little less efficient. It does not give you the actual chords. So in order to like burn that MIDI and get those actual MIDI chords into piano roll, you got to take these two key mappers and reroute them to this FL Studio icon and choose MIDI port zero. Then take this one and route it as well. Then you can go back into the channel rack, right click on the Yoda saw and hit burn MIDI two new pattern or the current pattern. Let's just choose a new pattern. So it's going to take a second to render it. And then there we have it, the actual MIDI that we just played inside of that plugin. So then you can take that, manipulate it any way you'd like and go from there. So that's going to do it for this one. Make sure you hit the description down below to get Octane right now and make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.